Mark Escanthi reporting in the shadow of the great giant again. Uh oh, what am I doing now? That's right, I'm gonna crack the treasure hunt. I just wanna give you, I wanna give you more, more, more. So, we're up here at 34th Street and 35th Street. And if you see on the, if you, this is a, this is a follow up to the first two videos. All right, this is video number three. Let me read the, let me read the quote. There's a clue right behind me. You see the red? See the red? See the red? The color of Macy's, red and, and, and beige. The whole thing is here. The whole thing is here, right? I'm gonna give it to you. So there is, there is that. Ah, she's in the background. In the shadow of the great giant. Find the arm that extends over this slender path. In summer, you'll often hear a whirring sound. Cars abound. Nearby speaks of Indy native. The natives still speak of him, of hard word in three volumes. From the middle of one branch of the V, look down and see simple roots in rapo rapsoic man soil or gaze north for the Isle of B. What is he talking about? Right? It's just a follow-up to confirm. So, inescapably, 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 the gray giant. Now, there's only one shadow. There's only one there's only two places that that at 11 a.m. could possibly be in the shadow of those buildings. And that is, that's this park right here, Herald Square Park, and over there is Greeley Square Park, right? But Greeley Square Park has no imagery like this. The imagery is here, right? Now you can Google map it, go ahead. Pause the video and Google map it. And look at, look at, um, look at the Empire State Building, and look where the look look west where the stat where the where the shadow casts itself at 11 a.m. And there's no other green park in the area. That makes that's almost certain that this is it. All right. So I'm just going to give you some of the imagery quickly. I'll try to keep this video under <laughs> under an hour. <laughs> hey, you guys are pissed off. A lot of pissed off people. Huh? Well, that's okay, you know. Hey, look. There's the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Uh, just live with it, man. It's okay. Right? You're in the presence of greatness. Right? I cracked a mystery. Right? So, you could see the arm. Ah, there it is. Right. right. Find the arm that extends over the narrow path in the shadow of the gray giant. Found. Ooh. Totally found. Right. And look at the imagery. There she is. There she is. Right. It's very crowded in this park. I can't emphasize just just how crowded it is. <laughs> now, why would Priest put it in the ground here? Because it was very different at the time, right? So, so again, the slender path. In summer, you'll often hear a whirring sound, right? Now, the whirring sound, I've told you, is the gratings. See the grating? Right? Under there is a train, right? Trains pass. You hear the whirring sound. You hear the sounds of the fans in the summertime. But you also hear the movement of the of the bell bearer, the bell bangers, right? The rhapsodic men. <laughs> uh, those are the rhapsodic men. Uh, there they are. Uh, working for their lady, banging the bell. Uh, 
you could see. Sorry. Well, there it is. Right? Now, I also gave you the clue that that in the in the in the wing is a three, and that there are five bar five boxes and four boxes. Right? 35th Street and 34th Street. Confirmed. Right? He's given us the address. Right? Lady Lady Liberty Face. That's her. Right? Confirmed. Now, here's the tricky part. Right? The treasure is right here. It's this water fountain. And right behind right behind the just one second right behind the water fountain is the treasure it's that tree right there see that tree priest put the put the treasure right there okay. the water fountain why the water you see the water imagery? Now there's another clue too. Another cl another water water image. And I'll tell you the rest of it in a second. We're already at six minutes. <laughs> Trying not to bore you. Right, but here's the back side of it, right? What's very interesting is a couple of things, right? See, on this side of it you see a fire hydrant. Again, more water imagery, right? And what's what's a little scary a little unusual so the treasure is likely to be is likely to be right right here by the tree probably somewhere right in here right? now I'm no expert on that but you you're welcome to come here and probe your ass off but you see this box right here that's an electrical box and I don't see any date on the back of it and it looks kind of new so the likelihood that this area has been dug up is very likely. And the likelihood of jamming a, a four foot probe in the ground is probably slim to none. As I said, the police are all over the place. But you could try. Now again, the 80s it was a very different story. So So that's the end of the story, right? And if you gaze we're, we're looking north is north is that way. Right, north is that way, the Isle of B, Isle of Broadway, Rapsoic men that ring bells. Look at the other videos and you'll see that those, those uh, men actually move. They're moving parts. Now, again, the park is a V. Right? Okay, so take, take 22 steps from the middle of the V. I'll explain that to you. You have to kind of be here to understand it, but it's workable. So, right there, if you if you map it downward, if you look down, right, you'll see a V. Right? You'll see the V shape of the park, and the middle of one branch of the V is at that tree right there. And then you travel east. You travel east, and you are right in front of that water fountain right there. Right? But again, you see all the people here. In the 80s, it wasn't the case. Now, if I'm at the water, if I'm at the spot, that's okay. The, the, the treasure's there. It's nice and protected. But if I if I stand by the by the actual spot, north is that way. So, That's north. Right? That's north. So I'm going to get out of this park now because it's a little crazy. Now, there's the other, the other stuff. Right? Once you're in the park, that's the, big, that's the big mystery right there. Now, is it the right park? Based on that imagery right there, you can't... It's inescapable. That's her. That is her right there. Right? That is her in the picture. See that? 
The birds, bird imagery all over the place. Isle of B, Broadway. Rhapsoic men excited to ring the bell every hour. Wooing sound, cars abound. Right. Okay, so nearby sign speaks of Indies native. What's that all about? Well, the park is named after Bennett, right? And the H is capital, telling you that it's Herald Square. Now, these are all grasps. There's no guarantee. But what is a guarantee is that we are in the shadow of the Grey Giant. And the Grey Giant is the Empire State Building. <coughs> Anybody from New York will tell you that. It's not the World Trade Centers, because those were twin. He would have said in the, in the shadow of the Grey Giants. <laughs> right? And the Giant is certainly not the Statue of Liberty. That's just to tell to get us there. Ellis Island imagery, 11 o'clock on the, on the clock. Looks like Ellis Island. Seagulls, maybe. Different color mosaics, not really sure what those are. But the red side is, is certainly, certainly can be construed as Macy's. See the red? Yeah. Natives still speak of them. Hard volumes, right? The volumes. The Herald. The Herald Tribune. And the the Herald and the Tribune and the Herald Tribune. Right? Bennett. How's the dude's name? Right? Bennett. Mr. Bennett. Right? So there it is. It's at the water fountain. This is the park. And that's where the treasure has been. Has it been uprooted? I think so. I don't think it's down there. I think it was down there. I think that that was his intention to get it, to make it so simple, because it really is simple. It's a simple, it's a simple solution when you're here, right? And, and only a New Yorker, I figured it out immediately. I mean, not immediately, because I had, a lot of people were saying, oh, it's, it's the, um, the Great Giant is the Varazano Bridge. I live one block from the Varazano Bridge. One barack. I could see it out my window. Right? And that's not it. <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing that puts the whole puzzle together in, in that I've seen or read about. None of those parks in, in no Hamilton High School, no fucking Cannonball Park, none of that shit. Yeah, no Pigeon Park. It's not it's not in there. That's not it. Right? That's too much of a grasp. Right? The arm is the is the narrows. The Varizano Bridge is the arm. It's not a fucking arm. It's a bridge. It's a bridge. And slender, wow, well, because slender and narrow are similar. That's stupid. I hate to be insulting, but this is the spot. It's by the tree. It's by the tree by the water fountain. That's the spot. So, deny it all you want. Argue it. Keep keep hunting I know I know it's not solved until you pull it out of the ground right. but eight out of ten of them are not out of the ground and this one certainly someone took it out of the ground maybe they jammed a shovel through it 30 years ago or 1999 when Rudy Giuliani did a renovation of the park but again the perimeter of the park has not changed right. this is 6th Avenue and Broadway uh, nothing has changed and on the other side is 35th 35th 34th between the two watch the other two videos and I put it all together in more of a studio version but this is kind of just to tighten it up for you and if there's anybody out there as I said if you're brave enough I know the Facebook people oh boy you guys hate me oh my god oh my god he figured it out he's so egotistical he figured it out. He thinks he figured it out. <laughs> but we need to tell him. We need to tell that guy that if it's not out of the ground, it's not solved. <laughs> hey, listen, man. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm an investigative reporter. I do this shit all the time. Yeah. You guys are rank amateurs. That's your problem. <laughs> ah. huh? But 
If someone wants to give that shit a probe, someone wants to come here early in the morning, try to jam a stick down there, poke around, probably hit a root or two. Good luck with that. Be hitting a root. Hitting a root. Be hitting the roots and the rocks. <laughs> Maybe hitting roots and rocks. Cause you ain't no digging no three ho three foot hole down there. That's that's for damn sure. That, three feet is my waist. That, and you see how the tree pit is elevated. See the tree pit is elevated. That, that's maybe two feet. That's maybe two feet. So you come up another foot. It's right here. So you're gonna dig. You're gonna dig about a foot below the lowest part of the tree pit. And that's quite a distance. That's quite a feat to try to get away with in New York City. Digging a hole in one of the most populous areas in the world. Clearly, one of the most, this is the, one of the most congested goddamn blocks in the city. I, you get, I almost get stand in a, you stand in the same position too long, you get run over by a, you get run over by a car. Well, there she is, come and get it. Come and get it. The New York treasure waits you. Come and get it. Ha <laughs> ha. Michael Scotty reporting. <laughs>